Hi and welcome to another video in my Photoshop Elements 2020 series. Now when you import an image into Photoshop Elements, the name and location assigned by your operating system is recorded in the catalogue. An important thing to remember is that Photoshop Elements has a connection between the catalogues and your original file. Now let's examine that in terms of your house. Your house, it has an address. And when the postman has a letter with that name and address on, he or she knows where to deliver it to. Now you move home, but you forget to tell the post office or any of your friends. The letters would start piling up at your old address and the new occupants would get a little bit tetchy. To start getting your mail again, you need to tell the post office what your new address is. Well, Photoshop Elements works exactly the same way. Once your image arrives on your computer, the operating system gives it an address on the hard drive. If you move, rename or delete a photo outside of Photoshop Elements, you will change that address. And the link is therefore broken between the thumbnail and the original master image next time you open Photoshop Elements. So it won't know where the original file is and will report it as missing. OK, let's have a look at an example of how that works. OK, here we can see that I've got two folders of images. I've got Import 1 and I've got Import 3. Now, if we look on the hard drive, what we can see here is that in my, in my Lesson Files folder, I've got those same folders. And these are the folders that are linked and the images in them are linked in these folders. They're exactly the same folders. So now if I... Let's rename this folder. So I'll call this folder 2, but I'm now doing it outside of Photoshop Elements. OK. We go back to Elements and everything seems to be as it was. It's still Import 3. But if I try and use one of these files now, let's say this one, I'll click on it. Then what I get now is this little icon appearing in the corner. And the Elements Organizer now is searching for that image. Now I could browse and find it myself. Um, but what I'll do is I'll just cancel that. And you can see that it's pretty ropey because it can't find the original image to hit her. So what I can do now is I can go up to File and down to Reconnect and Missing File. And again, it's trying to search. So if I click on Browse, what it'll do is it'll bring me up what it's found so far when it's been searched. And it's found that there are, there's a folder called Import 1, there is a folder called Import 2, and this file is missing because it now thinks it's in folder 3. So what I can do is I can either click the Reconnect button or I can just click on Import 2. And this will, this will reconnect anything that's inside Import 2. So if you just watch up here now, here we've got Import 3. If I now do Import 2, it'll say, yep, I've found an image that looks very much like that one. And I'll reconnect it. And what that's done now is that's reconnected all the images. And it's actually found the fact that, yes, we renamed that folder to Import 2. So now everything's connected and everything in Photoshop Elements world is wonderful. Now, if we try and do that again, we'll find that Photoshop Elements will just do it automatically. Once it's done it once, it will just automatically search and it is really, really very good at finding those missing files for you. Well, that's it for reconnecting your missing files. I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.